Hey everyone, it's Vian Makeup again. I'm going to do my November favorites today. I'm a little bit late, but uh, better done than never, right? So I'm going to start off um, with the first item that's been really popular around YouTube and is, of course, the uh, Revlon Lip Butters. Um, except for I want to talk about this particular one. This one is in Peach Parfait. It is one of my absolutely favorite ones. Um, didn't take this little sticker thing off out of all of them. Um, it's my favorite, favorite one. It's, the texture is just perfect. Um, the color is perfect for every day. Um, it can be used, you know, as like a darker color if it is applied a little bit more. But um, you can see how much I've used of it. It's just my absolute favorite one. So if I repurchase, I have 10, 11 of them now. And um, if I have to repurchase, of course, this will probably be the first one that I'm going to repurchase. And that is number 025 Peach Parfait. Next item I wanted to mention um, is this right here. And it's the uh, Rexaline Hydro Dose um, Anti-Wrinkle Cream. This stuff smells amazing and it feels so nice on the face. I'm so sad that it's discontinued from Sephora. Um, I only got two of these when it was on sale. I really, really regret it. I wish I got more, but um, I love this stuff. I'm going to hunt down this stuff. This stuff is like, I got it for $14 or $15, I want to say, and it's originally like $45 or $50. And they have it online right now, like on eBay and stuff like that, for $50. So, um, I really, really like this. It has like kind of like a rose scent, but it's a really um, light rose scent, which I really like. I said really a lot. <laughs> but anyways, I like it. Okay, uh, moving on. My favorite scent of the fall is this right here. It's Vanilla Bean. Um, I just happened to pick it up and smelled it in the store. I didn't know of it before. I think this, oh, this is from Bath & Body Works, by the way. They had another scent, the girl at the counter said, and it's a different name, and it's not the holiday tradition. I think it's like warm vanilla or something like that. And, um, but this smells so good. It smells so yummy. Um, it smells like vanilla, like just straight up sweet vanilla. And um, I love it for this for the fall and I need some on my hands anyway sorry um, okay so the next item I wanted to mention and I know this is like not in any particular order or anything like that but the next product um, I want to mention is my fingernail polish right here and it's the Jolup um, Reese's this is what it looks like I got this in my October well in my November box um, and it's just a perfect like baby doll pink. I put it on when I first received it and um, I was giving a bath for my baby and my dad happened to record me giving a bath for her and changing her and everything and then I rewatched the video like a couple weeks later and I saw my hands I was like oh that color looks really nice on and um, I really liked it on because so, I didn't really pay attention to it when I had it on at the time. I just thought, you know, it was a new color. I'm going to try it out. But I've been looking for this pink color um, for a long time. And a lot of the drugstore colors, they all have shimmers in them. Um, this color is shiny, but it does not have shimmer in them. So that's why I really like it. It's not a matte color, but it is a matte color, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like a glossy matte color. Um, baby baby doll pink color so I really like it and it's perfect for any season you could wear it you know during the winter or um, the summer or the spring so I really like it it's really versatile um, alright and moving on the next favorite item is um, the Maybelline Falsies mascara I've been using this a lot lately um, and I really like it. I had bought, I don't know, I probably mentioned this in one of my other videos, but I bought the Sexy Curves. And I think I might have mentioned this in my last favorites too because I've had it for a while. But I do like this stuff. Uh, I've been using it a lot. And along with that, um, I also used the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. I used it for like two weeks straight and I like this stuff too. Um, it is a little bit runny I find, so that's why I stopped using it. But it does give me... Um, 
volume and curls so I like this okay moving on a couple brushes I wanted to mention um, I mentioned this one in my last video but it is the elf um, defining eye brush and it's just an angle contour brush like that can't go wrong with this brush it's only a dollar um, try it out it's perfect for your crease and it's perfect for blending I like it for my crease, just kind of like blending color into my crease. And then the other brush is the uh, Sigma E55, and it's just a huge shader brush. And this brush picks up color so well. I'm not sure if it's the color, the next one that I'm gonna, the next item that I'm gonna mention. Um, I'm gonna try it, but um, this brush picks up color so super well, uh, especially in my. For like my lighter color for an all over the lid color and that brings me to my next item and it is my favorite i've been using it like almost every day since i've gotten it and it's the nars uh 15 anniversary palette in um wild at heart it's the wild at heart palette and i did a tutorial with this palette but this is what it looks like and i'm gonna try and pick up this color right here with this brush and look at how much product that's on there I don't know if you can see that. See that? And I just like kind of lightly dabbed it on. Uh, I'm going to do it again on this side with um, a black color. With this black color. And this black color is like super black. So, look at that. See how much product it picked up? But anyhow, um, I love this palette. It. I had, I got two of them. Um, I got the, the Hungry Hearts. But I like this one better because of the neutral. Uh, I can wear this every day. And it's kind of like a warmer palette. Although I don't use the red lips um, stuff on here that much. And um, the orgasm I already have. But I do use it along with this palette as well. And um, yeah, I really, really like this palette. And another NARS palette that I have been loving. Um, is of course the uh, Dana Mari All About Cheeks palette and you guys have probably seen this everywhere and here's what it looks like um, I'm not going to go into detail about it because I did a review but I've been loving the most um, is this color right here Sin I've been using it with everything this right here it's a swatch for it been using it like for everything it goes with everything it looks kind of like darker tanner in the pan but um, it's actually like a like a mauvey pink color when you swatch it or when you put it on the cheeks so I really like that um, and then what I love about this palette is that I'm able to mix colors I, I do that a lot um, I mix like these two colors right here like the really hot pink and then the sin right here and then I also mix the orgasm with a little bit of um, hot pink for it to not be too peachy. Um, so, yeah, so I've been using that a lot. My next favorite item I wanted to mention um, is the Lorac uh, tie dye for gloss lip gloss set right here. And I was able to snatch these off of hotwork.com, and I'll link a link for it below. Um, but the one that I like the most, actually it's not the one that I pulled out, but this one right here, and it's called Social Mixer. Isn't that so pretty? Like, I love, I love the idea of these lip glosses because, like, it has all different colors in there. Sometimes you don't know what color you're going to get when you pull it out. It's just like a surprise. Even though, you know, one, one gloss is kind of like a base color, but, um... And they're so super pigmented too. See that? That's just like a couple swatches on my hand. Um, and then this one right here is Flaming Mix. This one is like super red. It totally surprised me when I put it on. It is like super red. See that? These have awesome pigmentation. So if you can snatch them next time the rack is on um, hotlip.com, I would totally recommend it. I like these even, here's another one, um, this one is called Shocking Twist. That is more of like a, just like a berry color. 
I might as well just swatch all of them for you since there's five of them. This one is in the mix, and the mix is more of like a peachy or taupey color. That's really pretty. It comes out nude actually. There's more orangey on there, but it comes out kind of nude, which is really pretty. And then um, the last one is. Of course, I knew it, it has to sound so I do something with berry, but it's called Berry Blender. You can see there's berry colors in there. And it's kind of like a dark berry color. There it is. Whoops. There it is. And I have to say, I like these ones like so much better than my uh, Bejewel Gloss. Even though I really do like the Bejewel Glosses. Um, and But the Bejewel Glosses are kind of shimmery for me. And they have some a couple of shades that I am I don't use like these two right here. I don't use them that much, that much, but with these ones, I'm able to use all of them. So um, I already already tossed out the box for these. Otherwise, I would probably return these. But it's okay. Um, I still love like this hot pink right here that I have. So anyhow, um, I have two more items. I wanted to, actually three more items. Another lip item is. Um, this Bobbi Brown Essential Shimmers and it's just in number medium but medium is like this red hot lip um, stain kind of like lipstick and it's super red and it stays on very very long just watch it but that's just like one swipe right there and then you can build it up to be like more red more and more and more red so you just keep on building it up it's like super red. So I've been liking that for the fall. Next item is um, something that I found off of uh, YouTube. I don't remember the channel, but I don't know. Just search for it. But it's the uh, L'Oreal um, Eye Makeup Remover, Dermal, Dermal Expertise. And this one is the green bottle. And it is um, it removes waterproof makeup. And it's the one that says Conditioned Lashes. And um, YouTube... Um, there's a couple girls on YouTube that mentioned that this helps um, their eyelashes grow so I wanted to try and I have to tell you that I think it does help your eyelashes grow because when I put mascara on now I actually noticed that there's lashes there but whereas before I like I hated I like I even skipped mascara because I was so sick of looking at my my lashes but I really think that this works so you guys check it out and let me know if you have been using it or not um, and you know let me know if you notice the same thing I don't I did get the blue bottle but and all those um, the blue bottle does not have the same ingredients even though there is a girl on YouTube that says that they both have the same ingredients but they don't um, this one has this one's oil base and the blue one is for more for sensitive eyes and it's just water base so check that out alright so the last item that I want to mention is this right here Cetaphil is um, just the lotion this the moisturizing lotion and it just says this everyday lightweight moisturizer ideal for all over body hydration I love this stuff okay I don't use this on myself but um, my husband uses it on his hands his hands is like super super dry and super like crackly crack cracky crack super cracked all right and um he puts this on and it's like amazing it does like amazing stuff to his hands and also my uh my daughter uh the baby she has really bad like dry skin um her ears gets cracked like right here it's not eczema i don't know what it is but um it's just her face gets really, really super dry and it's always flaky and like just it's really bad. But when I started using this on her, I was using baby lotion before that and it didn't work at all. And when I started using this on her, um, I, it went away. And every time I showered, I gave her a bath, I put it on right afterwards. Um, I don't put it on her body because her body is fine, just her face. And I find that, you know, the next day her face is still fine. And it, it wasn't like that when I put on the um, baby lotion. So this stuff does, does wonders for dry skin. It's a bit too um, 
too moisturizing for my skin so I don't use it but I love it for my daughter so I had to mention it in there because I did use it it's just it's not on me um, yeah so that's all for this month that I wanted to share with you guys um, hope you guys enjoyed that and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below um, and um, yeah that's it I'll talk to you guys later bye